Hi, everybody. I hope you are all safe during this pandemic. I am Felipe Martins, and together with José Henrique Padovani, we wrote this article about WaveSets transformation. WaveSets were proposed by Trevor Richard as a criterion to execute granular transformations on recorded audio samples. Its first implementations was on the software, Composer's Desktop Project, CDP. A waveset is defined as the signal portion between three consecutive zero crossings, which corresponds to a full cycle on a purely sinusoidal oscillation. For simple sounds, wavesets tend to coincide with the wave cycle, but for complex and polyphonic sounds, the wavesets can represent a small portion of longer oscillations or retain a slow oscillation superposed by faster ones. Currently, these techniques are implemented on super on the Super Collider environment and on, and on one VST. The selection of this zero-crossing segmentation criterion provides quite different results when compared with traditional granular transformation and synthesis. A first point to note is that all the grain length will be different. This implies that we cannot execute traditional operations like overlap and add without introducing some kind of source-dependent artifact. However, these artifacts are unique to this method. Thus, the waveset transformations will produce unique sound results. For stationary harmonic signals, the content of a waveset depends on the number of harmonics, their intensity and their phase relationship. The first two are well known for defining the perception of timbre, pitch, beats, However, for signals that have the same number and intensity of harmonics, the phase relationship between them changes the wave shape drastically, but it does not interfere on the auditory perception of pitch and timbre. When beats or slow amplitude modulation occurs, the content of each wave set tends to retain the carrier shape, that is, the high frequency content. However, the slow amplitude variation will change the amplitude of each waveset over time and overmodulation can promote more complex patterns. In the case of harmonically related sinusoids, we will have a constant waveset content within the fundamental period, but there will be faster fluctuations inside this period. As a consequence, the wavesets will lose the characteristic shapes of the sinusoidal cycles and the full fundamental period will be a compound of more than two wavesets. The third case on this figure shows that when the oscillations of two sinusoids are not harmonically related, for example, polyphonic signals, the waveset content and period will vary over time in a fashion that is strongly dependent on the frequency content of its of its derivated waves. The last example shows the summation of two highly spaced frequencies, which can be perceived as a single pitch with a complex timbre or as two different tones played together. Graphically, we will have a situation of small periods wavesets pushed upwards and downwards by a slower oscillation. This situation can occur quite often due to the sea offset or non-audible low-frequency content presence in the analyzed signal. One step further regarding complexity, when evaluating the results, the resulting wavesets forming by two spectrally complex tones, separ separated by a major second and played together, as displayed in the figure, it is, in, it is possible indeed to recognize its deterministic structure, although one might imagine several problems related with the transformation of such variable seg segments. Here, the wavesets graphical contents get strongly complex, and this example, however, is far from the complexity of recorded sounds, illustrating how the transformation of wavesets face intricate issues. All these temporal variations on the waveset content will increase complexity when basic sound phenomena like energy envelope, reverberation, background noise are presented on the contemplated signal. 
CDP classifies waveset transformations under the umbrella term distortion. In general term, the distortion functions available on the CDP either modify the waveset order, shuffle, repeat, omit, or modify their content, average, clip, etc. These functions mainly named distortion were mainly named distortion because, in general terms, they introduce high frequency content and noise to the signal, which is mainly perceived as distortion. Although this nomenclature can be meaningful for sound sources like the human voice and musical instruments, in which radical modifications of the content are perceived by the listener, listener as a degradation of the signal message or distortion. It can be inaccurate or misleading when dealing with electronic sounds and other instruments like guitar, percussion, electric pianos. For this reason, the documentation sometimes uses the term constructive distortion for, the re for referring to distinct sounds results obtained when using these functions. Operations with wave sets are essentially non-linear procedures because each waveset is going to be processed individually, so each block is subject to the wave manipulation, independently of its content. Instead of uniformly transform the signal, sample by sample, we are introducing discontinuities due to the block processing. As a frequent result, this may either generate subsequent wavesets with amplitude gaps on their transition, or may produce radically different waveset content varying at a higher rate, which can be perceived as noise. So, we would like to point out two cases in which waveset transformations produce extremely particular results. Waveset-based time-stretching transformations are made by repeating either a single or a group of wavesets. Sonically, the result is far from the traditional harmonic distor distortion and can lead to peculiar, pe peculiar effects. When single wave sets are repeated in a small amount, it can range from an introduction of a, a sound similar to rubber friction. As the repetition rate increases, the static pitch of each wave set emerges. When a group of wave sets is considered, Details of the inner structure of the sound file, for example, grains, allures, small pitch variations, tend to be revealed due to their repetition. It can also produce steady pitches, but as the reproduction rates tend not to be transformed, it is more common to result in repetitions akin to short loops. Rato. 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 When alternating wave sets between two audio files, especially when working with bigger groups of wave sets, it is possible to obtain some unique mixtures between two sounds. This can be used to emulate phenomena like multiphonics and crosstalk. It is also a form of achieving multiphonics alike. It is also a form of achieving multiphonics alike sounds for instruments that do not easily allow this technique for instance marimba and vibraphone, or to produce crossover sounds made of waves that extract from distinct sources. <laughs>
Waveset transformations allow artists to explore constructive distortions and numerous other artifacts as creative resources. Furthermore, it also enables new types of combinations and mixtures between different sounds. In general, few computer music resources provide waveset transformations, therefore, there is plenty space for new improvements and propositions. We are currently working on a Python-based library that implements waveset functions and strategies, providing regular CDP transformations along with new strategies of waveset manipulations. So, uh, if you have any questions and comments, they are really welcome. Thanks a lot.